Now that the iPhone 11 Pro Max is out, maybe you have decided to switch from Android to iOS. One question that I get all the time is how do you transfer your WhatsApp from Android to iOS. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get all the data from your WhatsApp on your Android phone over to the WhatsApp over on your iOS device. Let's go ahead and get started. Big shout out to Mobile Trans for sponsoring this video. So Mobile Trans makes it super easy to get your WhatsApp data from your Android device over to your iPhone and it has other features here. We've got the WhatsApp transfer feature that allows you to backup, restore, and transfer WhatsApp data. This also works for Line, Viber, Kick, and WeChat. Then you have just the standard phone transfers. You can actually transfer all your data from one phone to another phone. This includes all your images, videos, contacts. You can back up your phone's data. That includes your WhatsApp data and all data to your computer. It's always good to have more than one copy of your data, even if you have you know, Google Drive or iPhotos. It's always good to have a physical copy on your PC. And then there's a restore option. You're able to restore your data from your PC. So the option that we're looking for here is the WhatsApp transfer. So we're going to go ahead and click transfer and we'll choose this transfer WhatsApp messages from one device to another. And then it says, please connect a source phone via USB. So we'll go ahead and grab our note 10. This is my note 10 here. I'll go ahead and connect that there. That will be my source device. Go ahead and allow access when it asks for it. And you can see that it is now connecting as my source device. So we'll give that some time there to connect. It does give us some options here. It says, please follow the steps to enable USB debugging. So we'll go ahead and do that as well. On the Note 10 here, I'm gonna go into my settings. I will go into the developer options here. To get to developer options, we're gonna to go to about phone. We'll go into our software information. We'll go to the build number and click on that eight times until we are a developer. Then we'll go to our developer options, USB debugging, and make sure that that is turned on. So now that we have USB debugging turned on, we should be able to, uh, the computer should be able to fully connect to our Android device. Okay, when it asks you to allow the computer, make sure you do select OK. I'm going to select always allow and hit OK. All right, so now that that's connected, we will go ahead and connect our destination device. In this case, our destination device is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So we'll go ahead and connect that. And as you can see, it's already beginning to connect. We're gonna go ahead and select the option to trust the computer. It's gonna ask you for your pin and then it will continue to connect. Okay, so now that we're all connected here, it's going to transfer the WhatsApp data, messages, group SMS, system notifications, photos, videos, documents, and others. We'll go ahead and click start. Please confirm whether to keep the existing WhatsApp data on the target device. I'm switching from, in this case, we're doing this as if we're switching from the Note 10 to the iPhone. So I'm just gonna say no, the transfer speed uh, will be faster. Select that. As you can see here, there are some other things we need to do here. It says open and log into WhatsApp on the source device, choose settings, chats, chat backup. All right, so on my source device here, I'm gonna go into my settings. I'm gonna go into chats. I'm gonna go into chat backup. And I'm going to click backup to Google Drive. We'll select only when I type backup. We'll choose an account here. We will allow. All right, and now we're going to back up. Okay, so now that we're finished backing up here, we can go and select next in mobile trans. It says, are you sure that WhatsApp had been backed up? If you click next without backing up, it may cause the WhatsApp data to be lost. So we made sure that we did that. So we'll go ahead and select yes. All right, so it's going to continue through the process here. On the Android device, we're gonna go into our settings, go to apps. Find WhatsApp, and it, it walks you through the whole thing so it's super easy and simple to follow along. And then we'll go into our permissions. Make sure that the storage permission is enabled. And then click Next. All right, so you'll see this screen on your Android device. We're gonna agree and continue. We'll go into, we'll go ahead and log into the original account. All right, on this screen, we'll hit Continue, hit Allow. 
we'll hit restore and next next again all right and we'll go back to the pc and click next all right so you see this this screen here is telling us to log into whatsapp on the target device so we'll go back into whatsapp and make sure that we are logged in all right so we're all signed in on the iphone and then on our computer here it says log in successful continue so we want it's telling us to first turn off find my iphone all right so on the pc it says that we're totally restored the phone said restore in progress and then it rebooted so we should be able to go back into our whatsapp app and we should be all good and restored so as you can see here all my photos from that particular chat came through so i'm all good and restored if you're interested in just backing up your WhatsApp to your PC so that you could restore it later, you would use this backup WhatsApp messages. You've got uh, the source here is my Note 10, and I would just simply click start. That's going to kind of run us through the same exact process, so I won't run you through the whole process again. Just know that if you want to restore it strictly to your PC and not uh, transfer it to another phone, you can just download all your information from the backup option of course once it's backed up you would choose the restore to device and then you could restore that to a device later as you can see mobile trans is the easiest way to restore your whatsapp from your android over to your ios it's the only way that i know that's guaranteed for sure going to get all of your information from android to ios concerning whatsapp data if you like the video be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future Big shout out to Mobile Trans for sponsoring this video. I'll be sure to include a link in the description of where you can pick up your copy of Mobile Trans today. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.